like a fun, silly intro mm -hmm. prepared for these second dates. Yeah. But before we came in studio, I ran into an old friend in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yeah. What? I lost track of time. Uh oh. So okay. I'm going to be honest. Oh. I know nothing about who's on the phone, what happened on their date, <laughs> or where my pants are. Whoa! I was so, curious. A lot yeah. of questions, but we're going to get answers with whoever's on the line right now. Let's talk to them. Hello, who are you? Hey, my name's Eddie. How are you guys? Eddie. Oh, Eddie. hey, do you, Eddie. Do you know where Jeff's pants are? Yes. <laughs> Bathroom, probably. Mm. Oh. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Why did I think of that? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm really glad that we have you, Eddie. You obviously know what's going on. Tell us about the girl you want us to call today. Or the guy. I don't know. What's their name? Uh, her name is Jessica. Okay. Okay. And where'd you meet? So we met online, you know, like most people, we met online. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And like immediately I thought, I'm like, oh my God, this girl is gorgeous. I loved her sense of style. Oh. She had really nice lips, like celebrity looking lips. Like it was just, everything about her was like perfect. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Nice. I mean, at that point, did you think she must not be real? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Cause like the conversation was flowing and like, I don't know, everything seemed legit about her. Like, okay. Okay. That's good. You, you mentioned celebrity. What celebrity would you compare it to? <laughs> it was like Jessica Alba lips on like a regular looking person though. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. 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 Right. okay. What did you and Jessica end up doing for your date? So I just recently, I was going to a uh, fire training academy, like to be a firefighter. Oh, cool. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh. You, you went pass? through fire academy for a date? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this was all prior. Yes, yes, I did pass. Nice. And like, they have a cool like dinner, like ceremony to like celebrate us passing and graduating and all that stuff. So I just invited her to come with me. It was oh. like a cool like banquet hall type thing. That's oh. a that's kind of a big it pressure is. moment. It wasn't my first choice, but like just because our schedules were so busy, that mm. happened to be the only time it was we were free. And I just mm. told her about it, and she seemed like excited. So okay, yeah. I mean that's, that's good. It's definitely going to be a good look on you because yeah. she's showing up. You're a firefighter. You're going to be saving lives soon. You're wearing that mm. like really sharp firefighter outfit. I know, seriously, like the formal firefighter look yeah. is yeah. hot. Not the it not is. the one with all the gear, but just no. that yeah. like that dark suit. <laughs> They're that they wear hot. at the graduations. I mean, I mean, it's a good look, Eddie. Wow, it sounds like you know a lot about firefighters and what they wear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does. I have a weekly visitation with the firefighting station. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, for real. So, sorry, let's get back to you and Jessica. Was we'll there any awkward times during the night? No, it wasn't not awkward at all. Like, we didn't even tell anyone it was our first date because I, I just told everyone, like, I'm bringing, like, a friend of mine that I've been talking to. And, like, everyone liked her. Like, she was cracking jokes at the table. Everyone was laughing. We ended up dancing together. It was, like, a genuine, like, really, really good time. And I gotta say, smart move on not telling people that. Because then there's so much pressure and everybody wants to get in on your business. If, oh, look at Eddie's on a first date. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like, that was a really good move on your part. Yeah. But the thing that was weird, so after everything was said and done, like, she told me she had to go. And I was like, hey, I can drop you off. I've only had, like, one drink. I'm fine. I can just drop you off. Yeah. And she was like, no, I'm just going to take an Uber. It's easier, blah, 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 blah. Mm. So then she ended up just, like, Ubering home. Like, we said goodbye. And I, I was like, I'd love to see you again. She's like, yeah, definitely, et cetera. And then after she Ubered home, I was like, I just haven't heard from her since. Like, I texted her oh. this morning. And I was like, hey, last night was really fun. I hope you had fun, blah, 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 blah. And it's just been like radio silence ever since. Oh, wow. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. I mean, I could see where she would leave just because like she wants to give you some time with your buddies or, you know, whatever to celebrate. But she wouldn't call you. Mm. I would you never pay for an Uber if I had a ride option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? I don't know. Like, I can't think of anything that would have, like, I thought everything went really well. Yeah, huh. I know Brooke said that maybe this was a good idea, but having a firefighter day, bringing your date around all of these hot, hunky yeah. firefighters, oh, yeah. I mean, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Maybe somebody swooped in on her. I don't know. I mean, I hope not, but that's what you guys are here for, so. God, that'd be so low. I mean, at your actual graduation for becoming a firefighter and somebody steals your girl. He's like, I brought Jessica yes. Alba's lips here. And yeah. you guys did this to me? Yeah, man, and I didn't even get to kiss those lips either. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, let's see if we can actually get that to happen. We're going to play a song. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll call Jessica for you, and we'll try and get you your second day. Okay, Eddie? Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, hold on, man. You know... 
It's nice to have a real life hero on the second day. Oh yeah, we do. Who wakes up every morning and selflessly goes out and makes a difference in his community and in people's lives. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Totally, man. But Did enough about man. yours truly. Okay. Let's oh, talk to our friend you? Eddie. Get out of who, here. When you look at important <laughs> jobs, you know, his is far behind a radio DJ, <laughs> but yeah. still plays a pretty important role in our community because <laughs> Eddie just graduated from Fire Academy and is now a firefighter. Eddie, I salute you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Little known yeah. fact, the emergency <laughs> call a radio station, it's 910 mm-hmm. before oh, 911. Oh, I see. We were that's, 910. That's how important People uh-huh. call us in emergency. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, I need a second date. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're only giving emergencies to caller number 27. <laughs> Try again next time. Tough luck. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Eddie, are you nervous right now for this call? Yeah, I kind of. I'm, I'm excited, definitely. I want to know what happened. Wait, yeah. What's your yes, thought? So what's your best guess? Maybe she met somebody else and just didn't want to tell me. Mm. That's the only thing I can think of. I think okay. we all agree. Like we, we, it's just, yeah. like we said, you're in a room full of hot firefighters. Must yeah, you can't just pick one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like moth to a flame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alexis would have had ten of them carry her out. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Which one's taking me home, boys? Well, let's find out for sure. We're gonna call <laughs> Jessica for you. We're gonna try and get you your second date. You ready, man? Yeah, man. All right, here we go. I'm dialing Look. her number right now. Hello. Hi, is this Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. My name's Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Okay. Why are you guys calling me? Well, we're doing a segment from our show. It's called A Second Date. That's where if you go out with someone and afterwards, if that person isn't calling you back, you can email us and we'll reach out to them for you to help you figure out the reason why. Um... Sounds like a pretty fun segment, huh? <laughs> I don't know you, so I don't really know what this is about, but it sounds like you're having fun with it. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to have fun. We'd like you to have fun with us, too. Yeah. Yeah. No pressure. Sure. We're chill. We're hella chill. <laughs> but we're calling on behalf of one of our listeners named Eddie. Oh, no. Oh. You remember Eddie? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he's hard to forget. Oh, he's hard oh. to forget. Yeah, because he's, he's a sexy firefighter. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> is that what you meant? Yeah, sure, that's what I meant. I don't believe you. Not very mm. For some yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. He sounded lovely when we talked to him. And, and he was into you. You know, firefighters have to pass some physical tests, so he oh, has to be good point. somewhat hot <laughs> true. and in shape. And able to carry things. Good yeah. with the hose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, Jessica, you're not on board with any of this. That's okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't really, you know, he isn't someone that I ever want to see again. Whoa. Yeah, I don't I don't know what your relationship is to him, but He's my dad. <laughs> okay. He's not Jeff. He's no, your daddy, but... maybe. <laughs> Honestly, did he do something to offend you because yeah. he has no idea? Sounds like he insulted you or something. Yeah, Eddie emailed and he told us all about your date that you went to his fire academy graduation and he he was trying to be as respectful as possible with you the entire time and said that, according to him, it went pretty well. That's not the case? No, not at all. Oh. I don't know what he told you, what he's trying to get from you, but our date was all on me. He said he was taking me out, and mean? we were having dinner. He got up, exited politely for a moment, then motioned for me to come over while I was eating and asked if I could put my credit card down to pay for a $200 meal. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. I, th- Whoa. I thought... Are we talking about the same date? Because you guys were at like a banquet thing. for Yes, the... absolutely. We were at a banquet. Okay. And okay. you can graduate and pay $200 per plate. Oh. And somehow I didn't know any of this. Oh. oh. This makes sense. I've hosted a firefighter's ball before and the tickets are like super expensive oh, to go. I didn't know. Yeah. And they're always really fancy affairs. That's oh. why they put on the nice dress. Yes. Oh. How come we weren't invited to that? I'm yeah, sorry, Jeff. Yeah, I'm what? sorry. Well, Alexis is like really mad <laughs> yes, at you right I now. I did it for years. Jeff and I are not going to get over this. Okay. It's weird. Once I got married, they didn't ask me to host anymore. I don't know why. I just I'll put that over. together. So, yeah. Jessica, you're saying that he didn't pay for the meals. He made you pay for it? Yeah, he said he forgot his credit card. Oh, sure. He said he forgot his credit card. Firefighters make good money from what I know, too. He that's... just graduated, honey. He's not working yet. I mean, oh, He's like a fire true. intern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a struggling college student. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, and yeah. so you think he did that on purpose? He purposely didn't want to pay? 
A thousand percent. You don't go to a banquet yeah. and bring a date empty handed. And you yes. don't ask your date to pay. You ask another yeah. firefighter. Exactly. Yeah. You get a friend to do ask it. A homie. I mean, I would be kind of upset about that, too. Oh, I kind of agree with you. Well, yeah. I'm just shocked that he actually contacted you guys. I, I'm really disgusted. Well, Ooh. it's interesting because he never mentioned anything about that when we spoke to him. Totally. Oh. So maybe we should just ask him directly because, Jessica, Eddie's been on the other line listening this entire time. He wants to talk to you. <laughs> What are you talking about? He's on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Eddie, you there? That, it's not funny. Um, oh. Hi. That's it, Hetty? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> listen, I'm in junior I'm, high school. I, I, high. Listen, I didn't have the money on my car. I just got done paying for, like, my school and everything. But, like, if you want to set up, like, a payment plan, like... <gasps> Just go take her to coffee. Bro, and you can skip it. Why'd you even go? I mean, it's your thing. It's your I banquet. Mean, I thought it would be a memorable, fun night. And she looked, like, just based on the profile pictures, like, based on, like, all the clothes that she's wearing, like, she looked like she was doing well. Like, it'd be, like, a drop in the bucket. To her. Oh, like, it wow. Like it so, wait, you knew that you couldn't afford before you went to this banquet? Oh, no. I mean, I had it. I figured that she would just cover it, and like, I didn't know it was a big deal, but I'll definitely pay her back. Oh man, Jessica, what do you think about that? The payment plan? <laughs> no. Honestly, I just can't believe I didn't see the signs prior to this, and I think you're disgusting. I think you should probably go to etiquette school. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if okay. I'm offending you, Jessica. Like, I'm just trying to connect <laughs> a, a love relationship. She's talking here. about to Eddie, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't get that. I would call him disgusting. I would just call him cheap. He's just cheap. Yeah. And he's not going to be able to go to etiquette school. He, he's already maxed out his credit card paying for fire school. So you're just going to put him even further in debt now. Yeah, I'm maxed out. Yeah. Oh, oh, to man. be fair, a lot of women do this to men on dates, like myself, uh, just saying. I mean, <laughs> it's just but we expect it. Like, <laughs> no, we know. It's, not, it's not good either way. It's if not I good ask if a man girl or out, I'm paying for everything. Let's take money out of the equation, though. Aside from the payment, wasn't <laughs> were you having a good time with Eddie? Yeah, I had a good time until he got up and went over to his friend and started getting chummy with him and then turned towards me and points at me, <laughs> waves his finger to have me come towards him. I was like, something's up here. What? Look, he wants you to meet his friends. Oh, <laughs> is this when he was asking for the credit card? Yeah, it was like I was sitting at that table with food in front of me. A lot of people were looking at me. I did look good. And I had to like, go over there. So I, the pressure was on. Oh, all eyes so on you, you felt like you couldn't have told them no. I mean, yeah. or well, you two would have been washing dishes to pay for your meals. Yeah. I really don't see what the big deal is. Because, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but all the money goes to the fire department. So it's like a donation. Yeah. Oh, okay. but still. Like, if you don't think it's worth donating to. Oh, <laughs> oh it's on her oh, wow. now. Wow. How what did you just twist this? <laughs> and, and, why would you tell her beforehand? I mean, maybe, I mean, if Jessica, if you had known, would you have agreed to go? Like, if Eddie would have said, hey. No. Okay, never okay. mind. <laughs> but now that he's called you maybe... heartless and cheap, now yeah. are you rethinking things? <laughs> Never again. Oh, okay. Yes. See, I, I don't know if that's true, Jessica. That's why I would really? love to offer to send oh you gosh. and Eddie out on another date. And this time, we'll pay for it. Yes. Hey. We'll put the entire bill on us. Not a banquet bill. You know. Just a regular, hopefully under $50 bill. <laughs> yeah, like an old country buffet banquet. Yeah, yeah. There you go. What do you think, Jessica? Absolutely not. Oh, oh, man. Dude, she did not have fun at all. Yeah. I, I thought she was uh, from the beginning to end. It Eddie, didn't sound like it. you really read that night wrong. Okay, well, can I get the money just to go on another date then? <laughs> oh my gosh, hot men are always this? missing some Hold quality on. to them. Let's, you let's can't have everything. No, no, you can't. Okay, you either get rich and ugly or hot and broke. Well, Apparently. I don't know. I think, Eddie, if you really do want money, you bring that firefighter outfit over to the studio. Uh, you yeah. give Brooke a little bit of a dance, and it's going to be raining <laughs> ones all over you. Mama going to make it rain. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I, never mind. Up, it's getting weird now. <laughs> I don't think I can play fire school in all one. Uh. Uh.